What's going on, Diecast Emporium fans? Thank you so much for tuning into this installment. Today we're going to be going over the brand new 2020 Hot Wheels Fast and Furious 5-pack. So these are all basic models for the most part that we have seen before, with the exception of this, the 69 Camaro SS, uh, which was seen in Too Fast, Too Furious. During one of the ending scenes, Brian drove this vehicle. So let's go ahead and take a look at the side. Immediately there is a mistake up on top. These describe what movie all these vehicles are in, and if you guys are a fan of the series as I am, this is a mistake. The Mustang that's up on top was in Tokyo Drift, not The Fast and the Furious, but the rest of these are correct, such as the 70 Monte Carlo being in Tokyo Drift, the Porsche being in Fast Five, the Skyline GTR being in Too Fast, Too Furious, and as I just mentioned, the 69 Camaro also being in Too Fast, Too Furious. So let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box and take a closer look at each of the five basic Hot Wheels that are in this collection. So the first one we'll take a look at, I guess we will save the most important one for last, and that's the new one, the 69 Camaro, is the Ford Mustang. This is the 67 Custom Ford Mustang that Sean Boswell, uh, Lucas Black's character, drove in Tokyo Drift. So a pretty cool car overall. Uh, if you guys have seen the movie, you'll know kind of the backstory of this vehicle. Um, Sean's dad was in the military. That's why he was over in Tokyo, and he was working on restoring this vehicle. When uh, Sean totaled a couple cars that he and his crew were working on, they actually offered, or Sean's dad actually offered, to let him use this vehicle to defeat the Drift King and the ending uh, drift race scene, if you will. So they dropped a, I believe it was a Skyline or a Mitsubishi motor or something, uh, into this car to take it out and uh, defeat Drift King on his own turf. So that's the story with this Mustang. As for the specific model, it's pretty nice in this dark green coloring with the white racing stripes. Again, we have seen this in the basics before. This is one of those where I would personally love to see this, um, this particular casting done in one of the premium Fast and Furious lines. I think it has earned a spot in there for sure, being that it is, again, one of the main vehicles, uh, one of the main movie cars used in the third Fast and Furious movie, Tokyo Drift. I think it would definitely look good in premium, but again, you guys let me know what you think there. So this, the second vehicle, the Monte Carlo, the 70 Monte Carlo is also a vehicle that is shown in Tokyo Drift, and it is also coincidentally driven by Lucas Black's character, Sean. This is the one he is working on in shop class at his high school. And uh, you'll see it in the drag race with the Dodge Viper at the beginning of the movie against the rich kid. We all kind of know how that goes. Uh, if you don't, this gets totaled and flipped over a few times, and it's not a very good ending for this vehicle. But what I do like about the casting is that they show you, as it appears in the movie, you can see the primer and everything that's still on it as he is, again, building this car in shop class and working on it. Which is very, you know, it's very nice to see that. The difference between this and how it appeared before in one of the Fast and Furious Walmart sets is that it does have these different style wheels on it, which I think look a lot more uh, beefy and it's more appropriate for this casting, especially since, you know, this vehicle is more of a drag style vehicle and it would almost have larger wheels on the back, smaller wheels on the front. Uh, as far as decos go, again, there's no tail lights, there's no headlights, most of the attention being painted onto the regular, you know, the color of the car, that cream color, as well as the primer gray. So that is the Monte Carlo. So we're going to go up in class just slightly, shifting from a half-completed 70s Monte Carlo to a Porsche 911 GT3 RS. This was in Fast Five. One of the vehicles in that film that they were trying to test out um, to beat the clock for the heist in that movie. I believe this was also driven by Paul Walker for a short period of time in that film. I do like the blue finish on this. Uh, especially the, the Porsche badge on the hood looks good. And this does have the rear treatment of the tampos on the side, both sides and tampos on the hood. But no rear tampos. And uh, the GT3 RS badge, that is actually a factory option that was available on this car. So that really wasn't done for Fast and Furious. You could actually get this in that this style paint color and with the 
uh, GT, GT3 RS on the side decal if you wanted it. And you even have a turn signal decal here that they did. And there is a good look at the Porsche badge. Stuttgart, Germ uh, Germany, home base for these guys. Not sure if the choice of wheels for this really was the best, in my opinion. Uh, another one of these, I think, that we have seen before in the $1 Walmart sets. And I think, again, this would be a good option for a future release in premium somewhere down the road. Okay, on to the next one. One of the most famous movie cars from any franchise. And it's definitely instantly noticeable, even by people that aren't fans of the series. This is Brian's Nissan Skyline GTR from Too Fast, Too Furious. Lots and lots of interesting stories about this car. Um, in particular, one of the biggest was this vehicle actually wasn't even available in the North American market at the time of the movie, so they had to import several of these. Uh, that's one of the reasons why it's right-hand drive, and it's actually right-hand drive uh, on this model. We have seen this done in premium, so getting it again in basics really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it still looks good, and it's one of those that has... The Tampo's on three sides, which is rare uh, for a basic 99 cent uh, Hot Wheel. But again, this is one of those quintessential famous movie cars that's instantly recognizable the world round, even if you're not a fan of the movie. I do like the taillights, the GTR badge on the trunk, and uh, the choice of the choice of wheels for this really goes well with it. But I think this has got to be at least the third or fourth time that we've seen this casting released uh, in the regular line. I'm sure those of you that specialize in Hot Wheels will, I'm sure, correct me on the exact number of times that it's been done. All right, and the last one. This is the first time that we've seen this in any part of the Fast and Furious, so that's always great to see. It's interesting that it debuted in a five-pack and not in a Walmart set. Uh, this is the 69 Yanko Camaro. Camaro SS, and this was kind of one of the, the baddie vehicles, and then, uh, you know, as we so often see in these Fast and Furious movies, they end up becoming fast friends, and yada, 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 everybody's happy, um, but Brian ends up driving this, and I think I think his buddy um, ends up driving the, the orange 70 Challenger RS, or uh, RT, rather. Towards the end of the movie, and I believe they end up crashing this into a yacht to uh, to catch the really bad guy, uh, the drug dealer. So, great looking car. The blue paint looks good. Even has Camaro written out right here up on top of the hood. So, I, I can definitely see this getting the premium treatment for sure, especially with how fans of the series and fans of Hot Wheels are with Camaros. I don't think it'll be long before this appears in one of the premium sets. But definitely interesting to see it. To me, anyway, it appears as though, for sure, the rear tires are larger than the front tires. You can see the base, 69 Camaro, copyright 2007 Mattel, made in Indonesia. Here's all your product codes for those that care. And uh, for those that are into customizing, it seems with one rivet, this would be rather uh, simple to... Uh, drill the rivet out and do some customizing and wheel swaps if you don't want to wait for the premium one to come out. So there you go, collectors. That is the entire brand new 2020 uh, Fast and Furious 5-pack from Hot Wheels. Let me know down in the comment section below which of these five vehicles is your favorite. Again, we will quickly go over them. This is the 69 Camaro from Too Fast, Too Furious. Then we had the... Nissan Skyline GTR, also from Too Fast, Too Furious, one of the most popular vehicles from any of the movies and from Hollywood at all. For that, we had the Porsche 911 GT3 RS from Fast Five. And then we had, from Tokyo Drift, the 1970 Monte Carlo. In two-tone finish, I say that jokingly, of course, if you want to count primer, and uh, factory cream as two-tone. As two and then the first vehicle in the set was the ever-so-popular 67 Custom Ford Mustang from Too Fast, 
to Fur or, excuse me from Tokyo Drift. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comment section below if you would like to see more of these style videos. Until next time, take care and be safe, and I will see you in the next video.